Hey everyone, Ahmed here and today I'm going to be talking about how I successfully passed all my classes for the first year of TU Delft Bachelor of Computer Science and Engineering. So let's get right into it. So year one Q1, the first courses you have are Reasoning and Logic or RNL for short, you have Computer Organization or CO for short, and you have Object Oriented Programming, OOP for short. Now my personal recommendation for the first quarter is that you focus on RNL because uh, personally, I, I already had some Java experience, so I already did Java during the summer and I highly recommend you do Java during the summer as well if you're still waiting to come to Delft because it's going to make your first quarter much easier instead of just learning Java while on the go because two Delft's learning pace is really fast and if you know, like if you have a foundation before actually coming to two Delft, it's actually much easier for you to go with your lessons. So. I highly recommend you learn Java during the summer. Now, RNL is a course all about reasoning and logic and the theory behind logic and how computers actually function because computers are actually based on logic. And this course is basically the foundation of how to think like a computer per se. And I really recommend you work on this course because it's the hardest, in my personal opinion, to pass out of OOP and CO because with CO, you have this gamification system, at least we did in our time. And what would happen with this gamification system is you would basically be able to gain points by doing assignments. And it's basically really easy to pass. So uh, CO has like a 93, 94% pass rate. So you should be fine with that. Also with OOP, what I recommend is you uh, make sure to use as much TA help as possible this will be crucial. Use your TAs, please use your TAs. This is the best advice I can give you. Go to the labs every single week, every single one of them, even if you have absolutely nothing to do, just go there and study and do your thing. And maybe you have a random question that pops up, then in that case, you can just ask your question, right? So make sure to go to the labs. So the hardest part of OOP is actually the end term exam in which you have three hours to code an assignment that they give you. And the reason why this assignment is hard and there are many people that fail it is because of the lack of time. So you need to know these concepts really well so that you can actually perform them on time. So what I recommend you to do is they give you uh, example uh, end term assignments for you to solve so you can actually be successful in the exam. And I recommend you start doing these from week six, seven ish, because it will get you in the speed and it will get you in the moment of how to actually solve these exams. Therefore, your main focuses should be RNL and OOP, as these are the hardest courses to pass. So now you're at quarter two. I would say this quarter is probably the hardest of the year in my personal opinion because of a course called ADS, which stands for Algorithms and Data Structures. Now this course is basically the fundamental of computer science, so if you don't know this course really well then you're probably, I mean, I'm not going to say you're not going to be a good computer scientist, but yeah, it's basically a very fundamental course that you need to take. And the problem with this course is not the theory or not the material, but it's the end term exam, the programming exam. You have very little time to do a lot of things. And if you get stuck on one problem, it's it really consumes a lot of your time. So my recommendation for this quarter would be to focus purely on ADS and make sure you pass it. And the reason for this is because if you don't pass ADS, you cannot take a course in the second year, which is the software project. And it's it's a whole bunch of mess. I'll, I'll, t I'll show you the dependencies on the screen right now. So what each course depends on. And yeah, it's definitely not good. So you definitely need to pass ADS. If of course you want to finish your bachelor in three years. The other course, Web and Database Technology, I really, it was like probably one of my least favorite courses because of how it was organized. This course is really like a coin flip on whether you pass or not, in my personal opinion, because I really didn't understand the material too well and the lectures at our time were not lectures. The, the teacher just literally gave us a website to read and we just studied off of that. So this course just Try your best to understand everything. That's the best advice I can give you. Unfortunately, there's not much else I can say because I was pretty also pretty lucky to pass this course, to be honest. And the last course, Calculus, it's pretty easy to pass as well. With the math courses in Tudoft, all you have to do is just study and 
yeah, you basically pass. You just need to be careful with studying consistent and just do the graspable assignments uh, shown there as well. And if you do those, you'll be fine. So for quarter two, your biggest worry is ADS and make sure to spend the most amount of time studying ADS. Please don't be like, oh, 140 ECTS, I need to spend equal time for the, for every course. No, just, just don't do that. Just spend a lot of time on ADS because it's going to be very important for your future career as well when they ask you job interview questions, which is related to ADS. So yeah, master ADS. Now quarter three was actually one of my favorite quarters of this year because you have something called the object oriented programming project. And this course is all about coding an actual app in Java, which is very interesting. So you're in a group of five and you basically code a real world app that the two Delft gives you. And this course, you just need to spend time in it and follow the, you don't need to follow the lectures, but you need to make sure that you have your weekly meetings and that your group is organized. And if you do that, it should be relatively hard to fail. Like this course has like a 95% pass rate. So this course, no need to worry about. Then you have linear algebra. Uh, linear algebra is also not too bad. Just like with all math courses, you just study them nicely, try to understand the con concepts really well, and you pass and do the graspable exercises as well, of course. And if you're not too good at maths, like if you didn't do the IB, then I do recommend you study a bit more to this. But then we have the course IDM, which stands for Information and Data Management. And this course was pretty interesting. It basically explains how data is managed, stored, processed, etc. It's very theoretical. So this course, I would also recommend you to spend a little bit of time on. I would rather spend more time on IDM than calculus, to be honest, because the course's material is like new and you need to actually learn a lot of stuff. So yes, so this course is the one you should focus on, but it's not like the hardest to pass. And yes, so Christoph, we also have a very nice lecture for this course. So his lecture should be pretty engaging as well. So yes, this is my recommendation for this quarter basically. And now we're at the last quarter, quarter four. And this quarter is basically, ah, uh, it's the second hardest quarter I can say. And that's due to probability theory statistics. And this course is quite a bit of a pain to grasp and understand the concept. So although I said that the math courses in Tudor were easy, this is the only exception to this rule. So I highly recommend you spending most of your time studying for PTS because this is going to be the hardest course to pass. And it actually has one of the lowest pass rates, surprisingly. But yeah, with studying a lot, you should be good to go as well. And make sure to study with your friends for this course because this, the conceptual understanding of this course is pretty difficult and studying with friends actually allows you to learn the material instead of just studying, basically. The other course we have in Q4 is SQT, which stands for Software Quality and Testing. This course is by far the easiest course of the whole computer science degree. So you can literally study the last two days, three days and pass this course. Like, I'm not joking. It was at least during our time, it was that easy. So my recommendation is to spend the least amount of time for this course and focus on PTS and CN. So CN is computer networks and it's a very interesting course. I really like the material of this course basically because it was very interesting on how uh, it explains how the internet works and how there are different protocols and layers of abstractions that make up the internet. So I, I highly recommend you to study for this course in a normal pace as well. There is nothing especially you need to know about passing this course. It's literally just a study and pass course. So yeah, the material is pretty engaging and I, I think you'll enjoy it a lot because I personally did. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions related to anything at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and have a great day.